Phew, thank you. Help me get a handle on this attuned system. I need it after my major mess up on the Sinecra account. How do you think it will help? Well, if you had been using a tune to get to know what makes you and your team tick, you could have made better decisions, including the one about giving Carmen the account. So at first, let's get into what your motivators mean to you. Huh? My results? Yes. Go to your profile. What are your top motivators? Innovation, feedback, and competition. <laughs> competition. Who would have thought? Is that how you see me? Only out for what I can get? No, that is not what I mean. In fact, we are going to find out what competition and the other two really mean for you. As we're talking about that, click on competition. See the descriptions? Oh, I see. And yes, I do agree that I want to be part of the best team, but not that I find it important to outperform others. They say the path to self-awareness is a rocky one. Oy. Think of it as a guide to help you interpret what motivates you. Ask yourself, what resonates with me? Then acknowledge the descriptions you agree with. And disregard the ones I don't? Then ask, what else needs to be added to make me feel the definitions are complete? And er, add anything that's missing. I can use the same process with my team members? Yes. Wait. I didn't send you. This will make your life so much easier. Manager tool sheet? Use it as a guide. Look there. The reflective framework. Go through it and you'll get a deeper understanding of what your motivators mean to you. It's a real game changer. Hey, this will really help the team explore their motivators too. That's exactly what it's for and those question prompts too. You know that asking your team questions to help their thinking can be much more effective than telling them what to do. I do now. That's what you do with me. You always make me feel empowered. A coaching approach, right? That, and it feels good because you like being asked questions that appeal to your top motivators. I can't disagree. One thing I was surprised by is how many of our top motivators overlap. It's probably why we get on so well, and it's shown us the blind spots. Now we know we can tweak our interactions and... I'm sorry, I'm moving too quickly. A blind spot is... Manage your blind spots. Compare managers and team members with motivators that have significant gaps or interpersonal motivator gaps. This displays major differences in motivators, i.e. those that are need to have for one person, but neutral for the other. Thanks for explaining this. I'm guessing this is a very important part of what Attuned can do, right? That's correct. I use this for many things, seeing how I can improve communication with a team member, for example. Look, they even provide communication tips here. So this is all we need to know to take over the world? There's that competition motivator again. And there's you stepping up your feedback game, as promised. Yes, in short, you gotta know your motivators and your team's motivators, then adapt. So tell me, Amanda, what insights did you get from this exercise? I found it valuable to learn about our blind spots to strengthen our relationship. Aha! The coach E becomes the coach. So you really don't think you have a need to outperform colleagues now? Good point. I see what you mean now. 
Good job I've got the manager toolsheet to get me started.